Good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is a Sunday and on Sundays I like to do an entire reset. So my body, my environment, my energy, just kind of let go of everything that happened this week so that I can go into the new week feeling grounded, calm, refreshed, energized. I ate something already this morning and I just made myself a matcha because it's going to give me that energy that I need to just be able to go on the entire day side note i'm also in my luteal phase and in my luteal phase my energy levels usually drop but i have made some adjustments which have been really working for me clearly because usually in my luteal phase i wouldn't even actually be able to film a video like this like i would most likely be in bed sleeping just absolutely lethargic and no energy so um that's been great. What really works for me is eating more of a plant-based diet and there's also certain supplements that I need to take already from my follicular phase into my luteal phase to ensure that my hormone levels are a little bit more balanced and so that I don't get very like severe intense PMDD symptoms. Honestly I'm taking it day by day so today I feel good. I have quite a bit of energy compared to how I usually would be and so I'm going to do just an entire reset and bring you guys along and just share a little bit of what I do and how it helps me prepare for the week. I've been wanting to do a face mask for a couple of days so I'm doing this Origins Ginseng Glow Boosting Mask and I'm going to have that on while I clean up the space. I just had the most pleasant shower ever. I feel so refreshed and rejuvenated. Um, I, have a, I have a very beautiful and deep connection with the element of water and it's just so healing and I always try my best to um, just connect with water in some way. So obviously my most ideal would be going to the beach and either just looking at the ocean or actually getting into the ocean or touching the water. Um, but I am about 30 minutes away from the beach, so it's not something that I do weekly. At this point, I'm probably doing it once or twice a month, but I would love to do it a bit more. So second best is having a really soothing bath or shower. Um, today I opted for a shower and it was just so cleansing, so healing. Mother Nature is truly the most beautiful gift ever, and we have access to her at all times. So you might think that a shower can't really do much or isn't as um, powerful as you know getting into the ocean and really connecting with the element of water or even getting into like a large body of water like a lake or something um, but it actually is so healing and the most beautiful practice that I love to do is allow the water from the shower head to cleanse away any pain any sadness any low vibrational feelings any just anything that was heavy from the week and yeah it's just it's a really 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 big part of my reset routine but also my daily routine as well at the end of the day that shower is just so incredible or maybe after a workout then i shower before i start the rest of my day it just immediately resets my system and centers me so yeah i did that and now it's time for me to give my plant babies a shower of their own and the weather's been so crazy today so it's been raining if you live in cape town or if you've ever experienced cape town like winter uh, moving into spring 
it's very crazy so literally woke up super cloudy very heavy intense rains and now the clouds have opened up there's some sun um but again the forecast says it's going to rain again later ideally i would have oh wow i just saw some new new things new little parts of one of my plants that i hadn't seen before wow um ideally i would have loved for my plant babies to get some rainwater but it's also extremely extremely windy today and cape town wind is it's brutal it's ruthless it has no mercy and i don't want my plant babies to get knocked over so next best thing is to actually go into the shower and give them uh just some love and connection with mother nature and then i'll probably just take them outside yeah like i said i would have loved to give them direct like rainwater, but i know that with the windiness of cape town I don't want any of them to topple over or to get damaged or to get blown over or you know um also i'm just i'm so proud of my plant babies you guys like if you can't already tell i am so proud of my plant babies they are looking absolutely gorgeous Okay, so they are looking great. This has to be my current favorite plant baby. Um, I got it in the depths of winter and things weren't looking promising. She's blossoming so nicely, like she looks absolutely beautiful. Wow, and if you look closely, there's some, I don't even know if I can capture this on camera, but there's, it just is the most magnificent plant ever and it's like, oozing out let me see if i can try and capture this there we go she just did it right over there did you guys see that oh my gosh that is the most beautiful thing ever i have no idea what that means but i will figure out look at that The floor literally has to be my favorite place to eat from. So um, I'm just having a little pawpaw or papaya. Um, this and mango have to be my favorite fruits ever. Mm. And I'm so happy that I waited for this to ripen because it was very green when we bought it and I was getting really impatient and I was like, no, I want this to be as ripe as possible. So I waited and now, I mean, it's a perfect orange, absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy with the progress that I've made today. Sometimes waking up on a Sunday, this can feel very daunting, but I know that I always feel really good afterwards and I feel like my energy is just centered and reset. And also being someone who works with energy a lot um, in my business and also just in my life, I need to ensure that I am practicing very good spiritual hygiene and so yeah cleaning my environment is a very very important uh, thing for me it really helps so much and I notice a difference um, not only for my mental clarity but also just my uh, life force energy and on a spiritual level I feel like i can almost take over the world but when the space is really messy it's very very difficult for me so the last thing for me to do today is literally just cleanse the home with palo santo and um kind of just do like a i like to call in abundance clarity peace happiness joyfulness high vibrational feelings 
into the space um, and that's kind of how I wind down and end off the reset. Mm -hmm.